Namaste. I'm going to warm you up a little bit about the book. There are no foreign people. A little introduction. Uh, why this book is so wild, so amazing, is that it is uh, channeled by the Earth Goddess. Thank you. Goddess Earth wrote five chapters, channeled them through my fingertips onto the keyboard about 15 years ago. Yeah, she wrote five chapters. I wrote three. And uh, when I usually write a nonfiction adventure story, I must research the subject thoroughly. I mean, have a three-foot stack of research books. But not in this case. This book is unique. In 2005, in Chico, California, I started to reminisce about my exotic life and when I focused on maybe telling the story about living in a Tibetan monastery in 1969 when I was 21 uh, the goddess uh, immediately took over the situation and uh, <laughs> the creative process um, and channeled it and I've never channeled anything before that or sense. Uh, obediently, I suspended my normal earthbound uh, perceptual skills and uh, connected to her in the subtle plane, uh, into her lofty, subtle world vibration. This allowed her energy to flow effortlessly through me. Uh, her writing style was absolutely conversational, as if she were speaking with me in person. No big words, no dramatic exaggerations. Uh, I found that it was very challenging to maintain this synchronicity with a creature from another dimension for too long. And after about two hours, my mind got extremely fatigued. That's when the goddess said, that's it for this session. Well, this happened about 12 times, and I noticed that each session I typed out exactly four and a half pages, single-spaced pages. <laughs> and after about a dozen of those sessions over two or three weeks, the, my inner goddess says, uh, stop writing. That's it, and uh, no need to uh, do any polishing uh, and no detail in the book was too insignificant for Earthy's attention. For example, on the morning, her book was actually being physically printed by a beautiful Heidelberg offset printing press by Mark at Regent Press in Berkeley. She asked me to print 400 more copies than, than we had contracted for. I'd ordered 2,400 copies when I woke up, she said, we need 2,800 copies. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, feeling absolutely unprofessional, <laughs> I called Mark and I said, hey, can we increase the print run 400 copies? He shouts over to his printer, can you set the counter to 400 more? Do we have enough of that luxury paper Earthman ordered? Okay, yeah, they can do that. And, uh, she likes m me to call her Earthy, so I will start that. Uh, Earthy asked me to never sell her first edition, which came out in 2005, because uh, that would just short-circuit all the spiritual juice in it, you know, so never sold that first edition. And in the uh, last 15 years, I've given out about 1,500 books, uh, to exactly those people that Goddess Earth would signal me, give, give her a book. Uh, she used my body as our distribution agent. <laughs> royalties? Well, <laughs> real royalties, often a hug from another human being with their heart open all the way. And that's when a spark of her spirit would enter their body. 
The most frequent question people ask me after reading this amazing, awesome tale, not science fiction, but, you know, is, uh, does Goddess Earth still come into your meditations? And my simple answer is, you are talking to her right now. Hmm. Mm -hmm. The goddess and I have lived as a fused creature when we want to be. Sometimes it's fun to be too, too. So you can see the other outside of yourself, within yourself. Uh, yeah, fused creature. Uh, since we first encountered one another in 1969, in, above, beyond the Himalayas. Yeah. For practical interdimensional reasons, uh, the goddess shares my male human body. However, for earthy pleasures, more female uh, pleasures, uh, we enjoy gold flecked pedicures, lovely silks, uh, as you'll see in the stage show I do called There Are No Form People, which is embedded in the book. It links you to the film. Yeah, eyeshadow. <laughs> Been together a long time, 50 years. Mm -hmm. The essential gift of having an inner dwelling loving goddess is that I never bottom out into acute depression or loneliness because I have an interactive spirit to uh, relate to all the time. And talk to her, be her, shapeshift with her. She adores me. We love one another. We are spirit mates. And uh, when I look up to the blue sky within me, this is within me, <laughs> How lovely to see a goddess earthy sky dancing in the blue sky. I am a very privileged human being. Why? I mutated young enough um, that uh, while still alive in a human body to have a lover from another world. So, I dedicate it. There are no foreign people to Goddess Earth. Enjoy this amazing non-fiction true story. Oh, my. Oh. <sighs>